Today's Money Makeup Lesson is part four of our eye shape series. In this video, we're going to be focusing on eyebrow mapping for our eye space. Now, before we get into that, if you are new to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. In our previous video, we talked about finding your eye spacing and how you can adjust your eyeshadow placement depending on your eye space. Eyebrow mapping actually follows a very similar guide to eyeshadow placement. So let's quickly refresh on eye spacing and eyeshadow placement. So whether you're a hooded, round, or any other eye shape, you still fit into one of three categories, average, close, or wide set. This refers to the distance between the eyes. The so-called average spacing between the eyes is the width of one eye length apart. If it's less than one eye length apart, it's considered close set. If it's more than one eye length apart, it's considered wide set. So we took the measurement of one eye, placed it in the middle to see where it landed. And if you found you were poking yourself in the eye, chances are you have close set. If you had a little room on either side, chances are you have wide set. And if it fits quite snugly right in the middle, then you have an average eye space. Now, just because something is referred to as average doesn't mean it's the most ideal or the best or the most beautiful. All eye shapes are beautiful in their own way. Average should really just be thought of as a base point to work from. For instance, we used an average eye spacing as a starting point when we discussed eyeshadow placement. For average, it looked like this. We then adjusted it for close set eyes, so it changed it to this. And again, for wide set eyes, which adjusted it to this. These imaginary lines create the right angle and shape to follow for a balanced look when applying eyeshadow. And we can use a very similar guide for eyebrow mapping as well. Starting with an average eye, to find the end point for applying eyeshadow, we use the edge of the nose, eye, and brow, and blend inwards from this point. But how far do you blend it in? Well, I use the inner tear duct area and create a parallel line. Keeping the eyeshadows between these two points creates an angle and a guide for applying basic eyeshadow. This can also be used to find the end point of the eyebrow. Edge of the nose, edge of the eye, and there we have it, where the eyebrow should end. For where the eyebrow should start, we use the dimple of the nose straight upwards. Now we have the end and the start point for an average eye space. Moving on to close set. Close set typically have some natural dark shadowing due to the fact that the eyes are set closer to the nose. So we want to add some lightness and draw the eyes outwards. To start our placement lines, we use the dimple of the nose, the edge of the eye, and it doesn't reach the brow. The nose and the eye create an angle going upwards towards the temple. This is going to draw the eyes outwards. For the inner edge, we use the same theory as average, creating a parallel line at that inner corner leaving us with these two lines and this angle. So for brows, we want to pull those eyes apart again and add some lightness to that inner corner. The easiest way to do this is to start the brows a little further out. This will add some lightness and open that inner edge. For the outer edge, we want to add a lift similar to the eyeshadow placement, pulling the eyes apart from the center. Extending the tail will achieve this. We want to avoid brows that drop down on the outer edge as this will enclose the eyes. Lifting the tail upwards and outwards will open the eyes for us. You can try changing the end point or the start point of the brow or do both, but avoid any permanent changes. Instead, use concealer and a brow pencil to trial these things out first. Don't go near any tweezers just yet. Moving on to wide set eyes. White set eyes typically have a natural lightness in the inner corner as the eyes are set further from the nose or you may have a broad nose. So we want to add some depth. Our eyeshadow placement lines are similar to average using the edge of the nose, eye, and brow, but keeping it a little tighter. For the inner edge, we use the same theory as the average, creating a parallel line, but we're just going to nudge it ever so slightly closer to the nose. So for brows, we want to enclose the eye space, bringing them closer to the nose, and this will add a shadowing effect. The easiest way to do this is to start the brows a little further in. This will create the illusion of a thinner nose while enclosing the eyes. If you struggle with filling in that inner corner, I would suggest using an eyebrow tinting kit. This will tint even the lightest baby hairs and give you much more of a natural finish. For the outer edge, we want to drop the tail to enclose the eyes and pull the eyes together. 
This will create a shorter look on that outer edge and add some more balance. You can try changing the end or the start point of the brow or do both, but again, avoid any permanent changes. Instead, use concealer and a brow pencil to trial these things out first. And trial out all of the brow shapes for average, close, and wide set before you make any permanent changes. This will also help you better understand what will and what won't work for you. So that is basic eyebrow mapping for your eye space, but I will be doing a video on eyebrows for your face shape soon, so check back for that one. I'll also share some brow transformations onto my Instagram, which is at Sinead Katie. Feel free to ask me questions on there, or if you want to, you can comment below. If you're over in the live chat, then thanks for stopping by. Always lovely to have you here. And for everybody else watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me understand what you like to watch. Check back soon for more on this series, or check the information box for the full playlist. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, and I will see you in the next one.